Hey guys, so we're back inside of Harkin Scythe, and you'll notice I am pretty much devoid of the things we've been working on the past couple of episodes, because this time I'm going to do some augmentation. Now, Soul Steel 1. Now, how do I. I thought I could re augment this. I was just looking this up. Uh, augments. Oh, okay, so it's like enchanting. I can. I randomly get a augmentation level, and that augmentation level can be combined inside of an anvil to make it stronger or weaker. Now, I don't really use bows that much, so I don't have one with me. <clears throat> but, um, the way this works is basically my diamond sword has soul steel one, which means it has a 33% chance to drop a soul when it kills a thingamabibba. So let me go find something to kill. Death. Okay, so I didn't get a soul that time. So if I made a couple of these and combined them inside an anvil, I could get a soul steel level 3. And a soul steel level 3 guarantees that 100% of the time with the weapon, I will be able to get a soul. Now, it is similar to enchanting in the sense that if I have enchantments on a weapon already, I can't enchant it on the s in with soul steel cuz soul steel is actually just an enchantment in and of itself. However, I can put additional enchantments on it using an anvil. So, let us take a look at this cow here. There we go. So that time I got a soul. So it took about what was that? Four kills for me to get a soul out of something, which isn't bad. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is actually make a couple more swords and see if I can get a higher level of the soul stealing effect. So let's, let's go ahead and do this. Because, okay, so at worst, I'm only going to need two swords to combine them all together, right? Oh, no, 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 I would need four. Oh, well. So... Oh, I don't have enough souls. Right. Um, I should have some extra cold souls. Let me refill all of my solomajigs and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I augmented two more. Got Soul Steel, <coughs> Soul Steel two, and Soul Steel one. And so, what I can do is combine these to get a Soul Steel three. However, it's far too expensive, which brings us to a wonderful thing about this augmentation table. If I just take some of this glass, um, I can go ahead and augment water bottles inside of the table. So let me just go ahead and fill all of these up. And I'll go ahead and bring them over to our nice little uh, soil stand. Okay, so here we are at the soul altar. And I thought that is how you did it. One second. Well, turns out I was wrong. Turns out that we need a awkward potion, not just a water bottle, to turn it into enchanting goodness. So what I'm basically going to do is build another portal. That's what we're going to have to do. That is the only, only possible situation. And we're going to have to go nether fortress hunting. I always get this backwards. We're going to have to go nether fortress hunting in our nether portal. Isn't that <coughs> exciting? Exciting, exciting, ish. Okay, so. Come on. You stupid tree. So mad. I. Every time I misplace 
one of these portal blocks, I just I just want to explode because I just know it'll be a pain to get back. Okay. So now all I need to do is get another piece of dirt to make this easier on myself. Jeez, what am I doing? All right, so we'll pop up here and there we go. There's a portal block. There's a portal block. Here's a portal. And oh, also, um, the vitality basically turns damage to you against your person into food damage instead. So if I just bring a bunch of carrots and I don't know, let's just bring my scythes. Just bring my scythes. So food and scythes and yep. Yeah. We should be good to go. So let us see what is on the other side of this nethery. And I'm hoping I spawned like right next to another fortress. Of course I didn't. I hate the nether so much. I just... I hate it. And now I have to find a blaze rod. Which is going to be a pain in the burt. It's going to be a pain in the birch to find a blaze rod because I have to go find another fortress to find a blaze rod. And other fortresses just aren't popping out of the popping out of the sky, you know. They just ain't popping out of the sky. That doesn't even make sense. What am I saying? Ugh. Why can't nether fortresses just be everywhere? The nether the nether should just be one massive nether fortress, so I don't have to go searching for blaze rods like this. Because I'm lazy. No one likes the nether. I'm just so glad there's not a ghast around right now. Q ghast ball. No? No, you're not going to hate me today, Minecraft? Thanks. That is much appreciated. Um, there's my nether portal. Which would be a bad idea to lose sight of. And I'm really curious what type of souls pigmen give me, but I don't feel like I'm decked out enough to take them on. So I'm not. Taking them on would be a very bad life choice for me. Because I would no longer have life to make choices with. This is the truth. Dang it, Nether Fortress! Where are you? I, mean, I just, I just need like a single blaze rod. Is all I need. All, I, all you need is a single blaze rod, blaze rod, blaze rod. A single blaze rod's all you need. You know, it's really funny. I've been walking around here forever. There's a blaze spawner right there, and there's where my portal is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I didn't catch that earlier. Okay, so... How am I going to go about this? Very carefully would be... Oh, it's a double blaze spawner! Maybe there's some, like, naturally spawned blaze that aren't on blaze spawners. They're following me. This is a dead end. This is not what I wanted. Okay, so let's go... Sharpness 5. Oh, oh, I'm burning to death. I'm burning to death, and I don't have a blaze rod. Okay. I wonder what type of souls these guys drop. If it's just like the burning fire death, why? This is not this is not how I wanted my day to go. I don't wake up today and go, I wanna be I wanna be cooked koala today. That's not that's not how I woke up this morning and decided I was going to Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I have a blaze rod. We're done here. I'm leaving. We're done in the nether. I don't I don't even care about seeing what type of souls blaze drop. I found a single single blaze rod and that is all I need in life. You know, it's funny. Um I said that a blaze rod was all that I needed, but I don't have nether wart to make awkward potions. Which means I have to go back to the nether fortress. Yeah, this was excellently planned, as you can tell. So, I'm on fire. That's excellent. Yeah, that nether fortress apparently is only two blaze spawners. So, I'm going to have to go over to these nether fortress. My legs, I just broke them. I'm going to have to go over to these nether... Well, it's like, it's like an extension of that nether fortress... 
but it's not the same nether fortress. And why didn't... <coughs> Apparently I'm a smart person and didn't think it was necessary to bring a pickaxe with me. And I'll probably grab some gravel or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Is there any easy way to get on this nether fortress? Or is it just floating in the middle of lava and being a jerk? I just walked into fire. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Man, I am never usually this lucky. Okay, that is a ghast. My luck has just ran out. Yep, and this is where things start going downhill. This is was not part of the script. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a hole in the ground. And that, that is a blaze in the face. And that is not what I want in my life. That looks like a place that would have nether wart. So that's where I'm going to go. You look like look, a, look like a fine and dapper place for some nether wart. Can I do this? I can. I did do it. Now how am I going to get out of here? Yeah, I've made many life decisions. This one does not go under the good category. Yeah. Um... Uh... How about them life decisions, guys? How about them life decisions? I don't even think... I don't even think this is a place. I don't even think this goes anywhere. Um... Well, I know what I'm doing. Fist... Fist my way to victory. Well, if you're optimistic, I guess you can look <coughs> at this from the point of view of I've got a nether wart, but if you're a pessimist, you can look at this uh, from the point of view of I'm completely lost and I have no idea where I am at this point. Um, I don't even... I'm so glad that's not a wither skeleton. Wait, this looks familiar. Where am I going? I, I don't even know where I'm going at this point. It's quite... wait. And this is all oh, my nether portal! Yay! Oh. I don't even know. I'm probably going to edit out like the past 10 minutes of me walking around the nether fortress randomly because that's just like the most boring thing in the world, I bet. Ew. But I have nether wart. Mmm. And what I need to do, I need to bring soul sand back with me so that I can farm nether wart. And that is a ghast who is not helping my cause, necessarily. Oh, no, oh, okay. I just need, just need a couple pieces of soul sand. That's all I need, aside from love. I also need love, but as, but mostly I just need a couple pieces of soul sand to create a nether ward farm. Now, now I'm leaving the nether and never coming back. I have everything I need, not coming back. What you all know about my ghetto farm, okay. So, let's grab three water bottles, pop them in here, along with some nether wart, and let us brew away. Okay, so now back to what I was trying to do like an hour ago, jeez. We put the awkward potion in here, and we can just instill it, and for five measly souls, they become um, enchanting pots. Which is excellent, and I won't have to do this a bunch. So I'm going to, you know, do this a bunch. What, what do you even know about ghetto, ghetto nether farm thingies? Nothing. Don't know nothing. Alright, so I'm going to not throw this on the ground and continue to do this. So thus far this has been a really inefficient way to do this, but I think it's kind of fun to just be able to create what? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that way it doesn't matter. 35. It's going to be a while, guys. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to do this a lot more. So, let me just use up these 12, and then I'll just guess I will get to the next set. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make another set of 12, aren't I? Man, I am just burning through glass like no other. 
Well, like five bajillion things later, and I finally have enough to get my Soul Stealer 3. And now, it's going to pretty much be a scythe. I should be able to just instantaneously get souls no matter what the case may be. That's a creeper. I don't really feel like fighting a creeper. I've had enough adventures today in the nether. Okay, let's go for a cow. This is going to be such a long episode because of the nether thing. Alright, die cow. Yep. Um, oh, there's the soul. Yep, so now... <clears throat> now I have some awesomeness. I have a sword that instantly gives me souls. Pretty nice. Now, if I enchanted a bow, it would have the wither effect, but not going to bother with that. Now, this has been a really long episode for me. I'm probably going to edit it down significantly for you guys, so I'm going to go to sleep for the night. Thanks for watching, and toodles.